in the world of lean product development, um, and especially as a product owner, you need to not only consider what your users say, but you also need to consider what they actually do. And in order for you to understand what they actually do, because, um, and I'm going to quote uh, uh, House here, uh, but parody, users lie, right? Users lie, management lies, they'll tell you that they desperately need some particular feature, you'll deliver that particular feature for them, and nobody will use it, right? What you need to do is collect telemetry. Collect telemetry in your application that allows you to understand not just the usage of the features, but the usage patterns of the features. When do people use the features? How often do they use the features? Um, what types of users use those features? And is it even worth doing additional investment in those features? If nobody's using it, why would you invest in it, right? Um, and some great examples out there of, of telemetry from systems. Um, an example I quite often use is that Visual Studio, uh, Microsoft's integrated development environment, uh, sends about seven and a half terabytes of telemetry to Microsoft every day. That's telemetry on usage, how long each action took, so that they can do things like get ahead of issues. If certain activities in the product are starting to take longer and longer and longer to achieve for a large group of users, why? You can ask yourself that question. You can go dive into the product. You can have your engineers figure out um, what they need to do. You can also use telemetry to look for warning signs. That's probably the best way to, 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 to talk about it. Um, like for example, um, I know of a case where in an application uh, that I worked with with an organization, they had, they had millions of users using their product and they had uh, a kind of two-step creation process. So you created something and then there was a lovely button to create the sub thing that you could then do something with. Um, and they did a release of their product and they found that uh, that number of people converting, right? So they were measuring the conversions from creating to doing the next thing. The numbers went, dropped like a brick. So they immediately after that release were like, whoa, something, something's gone wrong, something's happened. And before they could even get upset, even before they could even upset the Twitterverse, right? Before they could even do that, they knew that there was a problem and they already had a fix. Uh, pushing through effectively somebody had hidden the button accidentally that button had got turned off in the user experience so people created an account and then they, they couldn't do the next thing because they were like oh, what are we doing and then they just leave right they bounce off the off the system how would you know that how long would it take you to figure that out in your application how long would it take you to figure out that you'd done something that affected a core metric of your system. You need to have telemetry. You need to know what the numbers should look like. You need to know um, what the numbers look like when something's gone wrong so that you can perhaps set up alerts in the system so that it lets you know immediately when something's gone wrong and especially checking those stats uh, during a release, just after a release can be really important, during uh, uh, an announcement, just after an announcement. And that will enable you as a product owner to collect the data that you need to help inform the decision that you make. Um, so I will point out that telemetry informs but does not control your actions. You as a product owner are still, you're using that as an additional piece of data um, so that you can make a better determination because you know more. But there's all sorts of reasons why the telemetry might tell you that nobody's using a feature and you decide to go ahead with it anyway. Okay, a great example of that was a feature in Visual Studio. I'll use them as an example, but feature in Visual Studio um, called IntelliTrace. 
Um, it was a fantastic feature from a developer's perspective. Amazing feature, gave me lots more capability. They released it in the product and the telemetry told them over, over a year's worth of telemetry told them that nobody was using it. They weren't using it at all. So the question was, are they not using it because it's bad or are they not using it because they don't know it's there? And what they figured out was that people weren't using it because they didn't know it was there. And in the next version of their product, they switched that feature on by default instead of having it as an optional on. And everybody used it and nobody turned it off. So that validated that investment in, those, in, the, in that feature, which was quite extensive, and enabled that investment to continue in that feature to make it one of, one of the best features in the, in the product. So you need to collect telemetry. You need to understand your telemetry. You need telemetry that's collected based on the context that you're trying to understand and the context that you're trying to achieve. So you need to create telemetry that's specific to your product so you can understand it better, understand your users better and make better decisions. Yeah.